harmonies. So, what I find works really well for harmonies is just step-by-step -step stuff. Keep it simple. I start with two notes. And this is for your intermediates. You could even do this with your foundation classes if you feel you're ready, but definitely with the intermediates. Advanced, you could probably push, but start always with this. So, I always say, here's one note. Okay, these guys, you work out who's singing that, that note. You say, you guys are gonna sing that. You get them to sing it. Beautiful. And then, you guys, you're gonna sing this note. Good. So then, we come in separately. So I say, all right, you guys, you're gonna sing this note and hold it, and then you guys are gonna come and sing on top of them. So let's go, one, two, three. Hold, hold. Ah, that was a harmony. And they get super excited about that. <laughs> so we just do that. We do that a couple of times, and sometimes I swap them, which one's doing which, so the other does that, and then the other one does that, so that just gives them a bit of variety. Then I say, okay, I'm gonna play the notes now. Hear it in your head, hear it in your head. We're going to come in at the same time. One, two, three. Once they've got that, you can bring in a third note. So then you can say, potentially, if there's enough kids, one and two, you think they're up for it. Because the middle note's always the hardest. Do it exactly the same way, same method. Do that a couple of times. And then... And also it's good to then put them in different spots. Like they can stay where they are. I don't mean physically. I mean, okay, this group can do this side, this group can do this side, and this group can do this side. Um, just to give them the opportunity to try in different notes. It gives them flexibility of brain, you know, in their brain. Um, so that's a good start. Then, once they've got all of that, then you can say, okay, this is this group, you're going to go like this. This group, you're going to go. Ready? This is your stunning note. This is your stunning note. Ready? One, two, three. And hold. So that is a really great way to get your harmony started. Then you can start to do more complex stuff like the mi, la, bella, and the one, one, two, one, one, two, one. If you get them doing that actually in a row, so they're all standing in a row, and you start it where one group does it and then the second group does it, but eventually you can do one at a time. Mm. That's really fun. That's really good. That's really good for them because um, they also get confused with the numbers. So it's actually really great for their brains. And then you can get a little bit more complex with your harmonies. But I would start simple.